plenty to talk about when it comes to that fixture there. But let's just first of all talk about how significant the result was for Arsenal back into fourth. Yeah, massive. I think this year, Arsenal really surprised me a little bit. I don't think anybody expected them to be fighting for the top four, but I've said it many times. I don't think any team seems to want that fourth place spot. You know, when one team loses, the other one doesn't capitalise on it. But you've got to give credit where it's due. And, you know, they beat Chelsea when I didn't think they would. I expected them to beat Manchester United because they're in a more informed team. They had a couple of games in hand. I think they've made it harder for themselves in the losses they picked up in the last couple of weeks. But the way they've been going this year, I think Arsenal definitely, you know, finally, I think, got out of that transitional period. Because everyone kept saying under, you know, it's a transitional period since Arsene Wenger when Emery come in and stuff like that. But I think Arteta has rode the wave quite well. Mm. And as he said, it's not really about pretty performances at this stage. It's about the no. points and they got the points. Definitely. I, I think that's always been the worry for Arsenal fans is that they know they've got talented a, a young, talented group of players, but have they got enough about them to get it, get, get the job done, get over the line? And and they've certainly done that this week. I mean, to beat United, Chelsea, and now West Ham is three massive, huge results, which will have sent a shudder down the spine of Antonio Conte in particular, because he would have looked at those and thought, I don't think Arsenal win all of them, and they have. They've taken nine points from those, and that's fantastic going. That really is.